Hi everyone, welcome to Simplify Quant. In today's video, we will be exploring the various mathematic concepts used in quantitative finance. By the end of this video, you will have an understanding of various mathematical concepts that are essential for making career in quantitative finance. Let's get started with our first topic that is probability theory. Why probability theory is important? It is foundation of risk modeling, option pricing and financial prediction by providing various tools to quantify and manage uncertainty. For example, by understanding probabilities of various outcomes such as losses exceeding certain threshold, financial institutions can develop risk management strategies such as keeping capital reserves or using hedging techniques to mitigate potential risk. So there are key topics which need to understand while studying probability theory. The first one is basic concept of probabilities, conditional probabilities and Bayes theorem, expected values and variance, random variables and distribution. The second topic is statistics. It is very essential in quantitative finance because it gives tool to analyze data, identify trends, and make informed decision under uncertainties. For example, by calculating the average return of stocks or determining the volatility of asset return over period help in assessing the performance and risk of the investment. Technical analysis which heavily relies on a statistical measure like moving average, relative strength index that help trader to identify potential buying and selling opportunities based on the historical data. Some of the key topics that need to understand while studying statistics are sampling theory, variance, covariance, mean, mode, median, standard deviation, skewness, kurtosis, center limit theorem, etc. The next topic is linear algebra. Linear algebra is fundamental of many aspects in quantitative finance, particularly for portfolio optimization, asset pricing and risk modeling. It provides the concepts and technique that allow for effectively handling of complex financial system which involve multiple variables and constraints. In arbitrage pricing theory, that is APT, assets are modeled using linear combination of various macroeconomic factors. Linear algebra helps in solving for the factor that influence prices. It is common to deal with high dimensional data such as large portfolio with many assets or complex derivative product with various underlying factors. Linear algebra simplify the management and analysis of data. There are certain key topics that need to be studied to understand uh, linear algebra. They are vectors and vector arithmetics, concept of length, matrices and arithmetics of matrices, orthogonal matrices, eigenvalue, eigenvectors, inverse matrix, transpose matrix, and matrix representation of linear equations. Calculus is vital in quantitative finance because it provides mathematical framework and modeling changes which is at the heart of financial system. Finance market are very dynamic. Calculus help us to analyze how the variable like prices, interest rate, and volatility evolves over time. It is crucial for derivative pricing, optimization problem, and continuous time model. Differentiation, which help us to understand the rate of change of financial variable. For example, the change of price of option with respect to the underlying asset known as delta is derived using partial derivative. In bond pricing, duration which measure the sensitivity of price with respect to change in interest rate is derived using calculus. black scholes model, which is cornerstone of option pricing, is derived using partial differential equation. Cal calculus is a very wide topic. Some of the topics need to be understand by learning quantitative finance are uh, functions, types of function, mapping, uh, differentiation, basic differentiation, higher order differentiation, integral, defined integral, chain rule, multivariate calculus, binomial expansion, Taylor series, etc. Mathematics is core in quantitative finance. If you understand the basics of these concepts, 
you will find it is easier to learn and apply quantitative finance in effective way. I hope you find this information useful. If you like the content of the video, subscribe the channel, ring the bell icon. In the next video, I will be covering the job available in the field of quantitative finance. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.